Hi everyone, in this video I want to share with you some key points to be aware of in the pursuit of becoming a great 3D artist. I am still starting on this path and it has been very challenging. So I want to give you some advice to help you achieve your goals more efficiently and not wasting time. So you have this idea in your mind. I want to be a great 3D artist. Maybe because you were impressed by the artwork made by a friend artist or made by a famous artist. Or maybe because you felt in love with those incredible cinematic intros of your favorite game. Or maybe because you were moved by the amazing sequences of your favorite blockbuster film. You watch the images again and again trying to find out how it was made, enjoying the colors, the characters, the composition, the animation, and the visual effects. The beauty of those images bring forth emotions and feelings in your inner being, and those are translated in a compelling need to create something. And finally, you come with a great idea that you want to be a 3D artist, yeah! That's cool, but an idea in your mind is just that, an idea. You could dream about being an artist, visualizing yourself in your studio, creating 3D artwork. And that's cool too, because visualizing yourself as if you have already accomplished your dream is an important attitude to keep. But as long as this idea only stays in your mind and you stay passive, without taking any action, it will be only a dream and over time it will be a frustrating dream. So, what are you waiting for? Take action! But, how should you start? Well, the first step is to make a plan to achieve your goal and important things to consider in this plan are learning activities put your effort not only into learning 3D software but you must complete your knowledge with other disciplines such as traditional art, photography, composition and color theory. Practice. Even a talented drawer needs to practice to improve his skills. So daily you must allocate time to produce 3D images, starting with the simple stuff. Time organization. If you want to achieve your goal faster, you'll have to organize and plan your time daily. Daily small goals and evaluation. You must start your day with a to-do list and at the end of the day, you must evaluate how much you accomplish. Completed tasks will have the effect of encouragement for you and this will be the fuel that drives you forward. But don't panic for the uncompleted tasks. Instead, take corrective actions and move on. Remember, you must improve and be better every day, and the only way to get better is practice and training to level up your knowledge and skills. So, what is a 3D artist? A 3D artist is a graphic artist who creates 3D art for the visual look, for film, advertisement, or game industry. This 3D art may be composed of characters, scenery, background, vehicles, props, products, objects, and visual effects. A 3D artist should have an aptitude for art and creativity and be proficient in using 3D computer tools. Additionally, a 3D artist should be able to work alone and also as part of larger teams. And last but not least, he or she should have great skills to problem solving and time management. Problem solving and time management are two very, very important skills for the 3D artist. Please let me repeat this sentence. Problem solving and time management are two very important skills 
for a 3D artist. And I almost forget the most important one. A 3D artist must have very good communication skills so that he or she can interact with other people. You can't live alone in your world. A 3D artist must be capable of presenting his or her artwork convincingly and be able to sell it to supervisors, technical directors or clients. But what kind of 3D artist I want to be? Should I be a generalist or should I be a specialist? Which are the available positions for a 3D artist in the industry? Should I work alone or should I apply for a big studio? To answer these questions in a more accurate way, you should know about the 3D industry, its pipeline and the available positions for a 3D artist. The main streams for a 3D artist are film, advertisement and game. There are other special streams like architectural visualization and scientific visualization, but we are only going to take into account the main streams. Although the focuses of the different industries are very different, the pipeline and the offered positions for the 3D artists are pretty similar. So, what the pipeline is? Well, let's start by pointing that the pipeline is neither technology nor software, but it's rather a process or workflow. And the purpose for the pipeline is to achieve an optimal flow of data and information and increase the quality of the output. A pretty fancy definition, but what does it mean? To understand this, let's analyze how you would approach documenting a wedding. This task mainly consists of filming the wedding and taking photos, right? But you have to make some activities previous filming, make a plan, review locations and prepare equipment and other activities after filming, organize files, editing, color correction, rendering and delivery. If you put this on a graph, there you have your very own pipeline. As you can see, the pipeline is neither your camera nor your editing software, but the process to organize all the necessary elements to achieve your production. The typical pipeline for the industry also consists of three phases, pre-production, production and post-production. Let's list the most common processes in a pipeline. In the pre-production phase, we have the following processes. Planning, research and development, storyboard, concept art and pre-visualization. In the production phase, we have photography, modeling, scanning, and motion capture and filming. In the post-production phase, we have texturing, rigging, tracking and match move, look development, animation, grading, lighting and rendering, visual effects, and compositing. Again, if we put this process in a graphic, we have the pipeline. This is a very simplified pipeline just to illustrate the most common processes, but the layout, the number of processes, and the detail can vary a lot according to the type of stream and specific objectives. Besides, you could have complete and detailed pipelines for every process listed in the graphic. Only the sky is the limit for the level of detail and control you would like to achieve. But this simple graphic is useful for us because we can clearly see the available positions for a 3D artist and where they are located in the pipeline. Let's check the most common position for a 3D artist. Concept artist, modeler artist, texture artist, rigor artist, animator artist, lighting artist, 
BFX artist, compositor artist. The concept artist is responsible for translating ideas from the script, the supervisor or director, into visual artistic images. These images are very important to establish the mood of the shot, require elements and camera angles. Traditionally, artists with a background in drawing and painting are responsible for these tasks. But, more and more, these artists make use of 3D tools to create conceptual art. Conceptual art is the base for modeler and texture artist. A 3D modeler turns concept art into a digital model. Then, the texture artist create and apply the materials to the digital model. For the digital models, the rigger artist creates structures that will allow to pose and animate the character. This artist must have a great understanding of anatomy, movement and physics. The animator artist take the rigged digital models and apply a believable movement to bring the characters to life. Similar to rigor artists, animator artists must have a good understanding of motions, anatomy, and physics. The lighting artist is responsible for applying all lighting effects to a scene. A lighting artist needs to have a good understanding of how light interacts with texture and materials. He also needs to have a good understanding of composition and color theory. BFX artists are responsible for creating visual effects to be composed in the final shot. There are a wide variety of effects, but the most common are fluids, smoke, fire, explosions, rain, particles and dynamic simulations. A BFX artist must combine artistic and technical skills, and sometimes programming and coding skills. Compositor artists take graded plates, stock images, render passes, visual effects, and bring everything together into a final seamless shot. The compositor artist must have strong foundations of composition, color theory, artistic vision, and problem-solving skills. Well, now we have a better understanding of the 3D industry, its famous pipeline, and the positions offered for the 3D artists. So, we are ready to answer the question about what kind of 3D artist I want to be. And this will be the topic of the next video. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you soon in the next one.